Welcome to the chomp shop. So you just got a chomp saw. The first thing you're gonna do is find a flat, clean surface, preferably one that's close to an outlet, and put the chomp saw on top. The power supply is under the lid, which can be removed by putting your fingers under these cutouts and then gently lifting up. The lid has two sides, one with inches and the other with centimeters, so you can choose what you prefer. Now that the lid is off, grab the power supply, connect it to the DC jack at the back of the device, and finally plug it in. To turn it on, you're gonna flip the power switch on the right side of the device, and the status ring will light up, showing you that the chomp saw is in operation. If it's red or flashing, there may be an issue with your unit, and you should refer to our troubleshooting video, FAQs, your manual, or support for assistance. At the front of your chomp saw, there's a dust collection drawer where cardboard clippings will collect. There's nothing in there right now, but once you start chomping, clippings will begin to collect and these must be discarded at least every 30 minutes or when you see the dust reach the bottom of the chomp saw logo. Be sure to fully seat the drawer when putting it back. If it's not fully in, the light ring will be blinking and the cutting head won't run for safety reasons. To cut with your chomp saw or chomp with it, you'll want to take your cardboard and use two hands to gently feed the cardboard into the cutting head. It's important to push parallel with the marking on the cutting head and not from side to side as the chomp saw only cuts in one direction, kind of like a band saw. To change direction, rotate your piece and then continue cutting. It's a good idea to make sure your cardboard isn't too thick. Between two to three millimeters is perfect for the chomp saw. If it's a little too thick, you can always squish the area you want to cut with your hands, the backside of a scoring tool, or by any means necessary. <laughs> also, make sure you remove tape and stickers where you can from your cardboard, as the adhesive residue can jam up the cutting head over time. When you're done cutting with the chomp saw, be sure to turn it off using the power switch and empty out the dust collection drawer. Now that you can operate the chomp saw, you're ready to start cutting out your very own inventions. For more product information, tips and tricks, be sure to check out the rest of our videos. Now that you can operate the chomp saw, you're ready to start chomping out your very own pieces of art. You're ready to get chomping. You're ready to get chomping. Nah, this is bad. You're ready to get chomping. <laughs> oh no.